How's retirement feel, Joey? Why didn't you tell me to quit earlier? We had <laughs> that last interview, and you were kind of nudging me, but push, push. I mean, I wish that I had not wasted the last six months of my life. I wish you had told me clearly, hey, it's over. But what is scarier, not playing well or the fact that you're retired or retirement? <clears throat> so I played 17 years with the Cincinnati Reds and all of them, all of them great. And the fans were great. I played well for most of it. And then there was just no interest, no major league interest in the offseason and free agency either. And I reached out to the Toronto Blue Jays, my hometown team and signed a minor league contract with them and i got hurt in spring training and truly it feels like retirement since last fall it feels like my last game in cincinnati was you know everything went quiet there was no interest when you're not on stage nobody cares i wasn't able to you know i wasn't able to perform and compete in front of fans on television do interviews you know you know, your phone goes cold your your circle gets really really small and it it's really felt like retirement over the past nine months so i don't think i think if you were to ask me after the last day of the season last year i would have had a much different answer than i do now but now i'm not quite as afraid because i basically felt like i've retired over the last nine months yeah, but I've been around athletes for 40 years. You guys don't want to be told when to retire. You have to realize yourself. Even if others see it, I couldn't have convinced you, hey, just stay with the Reds, retire Cincinnati Red, don't try to do this anymore. You're good. You know, Come back, retire, do, have an official retirement with the Reds. Um, but you had, to, you had to explore that, not, not me or anybody else. I think my, in my experience, so I had a pretty serious injury in 2022 and I couldn't stand the idea of injury essentially crushing my, my competitive ability. And I'm not talking about the internal, I'm talking about the physical ability and the idea of, of an injury essentially ending my, not my peak, but my ability to compete. You know, when you enter a season, you're thinking, and almost my entire career, I thought I'll be at the all-star game. Almost my entire career, I thought, I'll win an MVP award this year. Virtually my entire career, I thought, I'll, I'll be trending towards a playoff, a World Series, a great season. I'll be able to look back with, with positive reflection. And the last couple of years, I, I, they were just such, a, such ugly performances that I thought, this year will be the year. I'll be able to prove it. I'll be healthy. I'll be able to be an all-star. I'll prove to them, you know, they should have resigned me. I'll prove to the league you should have signed me. I'll be at the, you know, I'll be able to like have my moment. And at some point there's an end to it. And I, I think the thing that I said, whenever I was asked, should you, should you end your career? I said, no, no, no. I want the game to tell me I'm done. I don't want a team to tell me I'm done. I don't want somebody in the media or a family member or a friend or a fan to say you're washed. And I was washed. I mean, I was I, I was done probably last year at some point, but I'm the one that has to be able to to make that decision. And and that's where I'm at right now. And I can say I can say I was down in Buffalo. I played for the AAA team in, in for the Toronto Blue Jays in Buffalo. And I played in Scranton, Wilkes Bar, uh, Wilkes Bar and I played in Worcester, if, if I'm saying that correctly, Mass Massachusetts. I rode the bus. I carried my bags and I still wanted to make it happen. You know, when I say carry my bags, carry my hotel bags, I, I, you know, I, I was doing the minor league life and I still wanted to make it happen. And it wasn't until the other day when I didn't want a plate appearance, when the coach was like, do you want this at bat? And I was like, I don't, I don't. And I've never had that. I've always been, always been on, wow. I've always had a direction. I've always been like, I'm going that way. And I was like, I'm good. And I'll share a quick story. So I'm sitting on the bench and the coach asked me if I wanted a plate appearance. And my late father, who died 16 years ago, and I had a really strong relationship. He was 
he was, you know, to this day, when you lose someone like that, you, it's a, it's something you can't ever fill. And he and I played catch together and we loved the Toronto Blue Jays and our favorite player was Devon White. He had a specific catching style and he's a fantastic defender and a real charming personality. We just loved him. He was the guy for the Blue Jays, our guy. And so we'd go out and play catch and he'd try to catch like Devon White. I'm nine years old, 11 years old, and we're playing catch together. And I'm sitting on the bench in Buffalo, passing on a plate appearance. And guess who's sitting beside me? Devon White. And he said to me, so what do you think you're going to do? And he was talking about my hitting style. Like, what adjustments do you think you're going to make? And I go, I think I'm done. And he goes, you mean retire? And I go, yeah, I think I'm done. And he goes, okay. And it was like a full circle moment to be able to have a childhood. I'm getting emotional thinking and talking about this, but have a, have a childhood um, icon or, and something that I was able to share with my father sitting next to me and it was poignant, poetic. Uh, you draw sort of connections, even if they aren't real, but that felt like a genuine connection for me. You know, that felt like that was almost like poetic. That felt like a an end to a story. And I went into the, t to the clubhouse, thanked my minor league team teammates who require, in, in my opinion, deserve to thank you because I took plate appearances from them. I took playing time from them. The guy that I replaced hit a grand slam, I think today or yesterday, where I would have been playing. And that was enough. That was enough. Thank the manager, thank the general manager. And then I, I shared with the public that my, my I'm, I'm retiring and that's it in the best of ways. So I feel good about it.